Welcome back. We can still continue to work with the document inside the document editor. And you're going to see more tools in the upper right hand corner. For example, you're going to see here that we can rephrase certain elements of our document. For example, we can highlight a particular passage and you'll then see that this menu is now available to us. What we can do with the passage that we have highlighted is we can then rephrase that one passage by clicking this button. What will happen then is that Jasper will then work to rephrase the content. We can choose to use that content. We can click the replace text or we can try it again. And then Jasper will retry it again. You'll then get the same prompt. You can then choose to replace the text and you'll see your new text here in this area. You can highlight more of your text and if you have grammar issues, you can fix those issues. You can click this button that says fix grammar. What you'll also see here on the right hand corner is an element that says explain it to a fifth grader in order to make your content simpler. For example, you can then take one aspect of your document and you'll then see this menu available to you. You can click this button that says explain it to a fifth grader and you'll get more content here that you can use. You can try it again and if you like what you see, you can then replace the text. If you don't feel your content is long enough, you can place your cursor at the end and you can click the Compose button and Jasper will begin to compose more text. And so basically inside of your document area, you will then be able to use Jasper along with the tools in order to create more content. And once again, this document editor is only going to be available to the customers that have the boss mode of creating content. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.